I'm Michael Petrellis again. As you can see from my sign, I'm running for uh, the BART board. And I'm here uh, to follow up with Barbara about... Um, uh, my request to you for an emergency health declaration regarding uh, the BART plazas at 16th and Mission Streets. Uh, where we left it was uh, Larry Stringer was going to look at my request for this um, emergency declaration. Um, I haven't heard from him. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but the uh, part of the reason why I want a um, uh, emergency health declaration is because um, it would greatly help to coordinate all of the various agencies that have um, some control over these two plazas. Uh, we are talking about the SFMTA, Muni, uh, the Department of Parking and Traffic, Clear Channel, PG&E, J.C. Deco, they take care of the toilet kiosk there, Department of Public Works, and BART trying to coordinate all of these entities to get on the same page about um, uh, cleaning up the, the pigeon poop, uh, pigeon abatement, um, needles are being left um, in the plaza, and since I'm talking about um, uh, needles, you know, I'm putting the idea out to BART that um, they've got to uh, look at having a permanent drop-off box. Right now, the two pit stops, during the hours that they're there, they have the um, uh, boxes where you can drop the needles, but if it's midnight and the pit stops aren't there, folks just leave the needles around. So instead of having to call 311 to get a, um, a request made to have the needles picked up. If we had boxes, um, uh, secure boxes there, I think this would um, greatly assist public health. Um, so, Barbara, what I'm asking you for is someone... Uh, here at DPH to coordinate getting out to the plaza to inspect all of the public health issues that um, uh, need addressing there. And uh, one thing I have asked everyone for is uh, if they have any contacts at um, Pacific Gas and Electric, because the overhead electrical cables belong to PG&E. That is where the pigeons... 30 seconds. That's where the pigeons are roosting. Um, PG&E right now does not have a pigeon abatement program. Uh, and instead of trying to always get DPW and various agencies to come out and clean up the pigeon poop, if the pigeons were not roosting on those electrical wires, it would greatly help public health. Michael Petrellis again. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for that uh, report. I learned a lot. Um, and I, um, uh, I was informed by my girlfriend, uh, Veronica Frimbrace, who's a nurse, that um, many of the folks who are hanging out at um, 16th and Mission Street um, Bart Plaza are residents of nearby SROs. And uh, that the um, bad environment at 16th and Mission is contributing to um, the SRO and homeless folks with asthma and other environmental uh, problems. So. Um, I, uh, uh, that's what, part of the reason why I'm very interested in this report because I think that um, it adds um, urgency to all of the agencies that have some sort of responsibility at 16th Street to start coordinating um, regular washings, getting rid of all the debris, every, everything that creates an unhealthy environment there. Um, and w I have a question about the resolution on page two, it's bullet item two, and it starts off hospitalization and emergency room admission rates. At the end of that bullet point, you see there's a strike through. Uh, what it reads uh, underneath is deaths from drug overdoses are high and increasing. Instead, what's there is substance use disorder is a continued health problem. My question is, um, uh, if there are drug deaths from overdose that are high and increasing, please say it. Um, don't uh, don't uh, take it out of this report. I don't understand why you have a uh, strike through uh, there. Thank you.